In this video, we are going to import our Illustrator artboards into After Effects. What we're looking to do is set up our project in such a way as to help us complete this animation. Now, as we'll discover, when doing animation, there are literally lots of moving parts. Layers can start to multiply very quickly. But as you see by this completed project here, this entire animation, as I scrub through the timeline, is created with just an audio file, a composition with the first part of our animation, and a composition with the second part of our animation. Here with the layer indicators, with the timeline markers, showing exactly when those words are coming up. My goal is to help you set up your After Effects animation project in such a way as to be able to complete that animation as easily as possible. Here's what I want you to do. Open up a new project in After Effects. I'm going to save this project. In your new, in your new project, let's import our Illustrator artwork. Now, when we import our Illustrator artwork, we have to do so in a certain way. I want you to come to the File drop-down menu, choose Import, Import File. Let's navigate to the Illustrator Assets folder that we created earlier, and I've renamed my files here. You can see I have mine now called First Panel with Layers and Second Panel Layers. I'm going to select the first of these, and I'm going to come down to the bottom of this window, and I want to make sure that you are seeing the options. If you are seeing your import screen look like this, I want you to come to the bottom left and click on your Options button so that you can see these options here. We're not going to change the first drop down here. Here, but this next one, Import As, is very important. If I click on that, you can see we have a couple of different options. Footage refers to files that don't have layers. A composition is a layered file, which is exactly what we have. You can see we have two options for composition here. I will tell you right now, always import with retain layer sizes checked. This is going to make sure that all the objects that you bring in with those layers are properly sized. I'm going to say Open. You can see that our project panel, let me just expand that just a little bit, our project panel now has two new files. The first is a composition file, as you can see by the icon. But underneath that, we have this folder. If I twirl that down, you can see that our individual layers are inside of that folder. Now, we're not meant to work with these layers here. We're going to close up that folder. This folder is just supplying this composition with its artwork. It's this composition that we're going to be working with. I'm going to double click it to open it. I'm going to resize my window so I can see all my layers. Now, I have all my layers named here, except for the first one. That is the arrow. In after Effects, we change the names of layers a little differently. Rather than double-clicking it, we select it and then press the Return button. I can now type in my name and press Return once more to accept that. Like I've said, layer management is going to be very important. Now I'm going to recommend that we create our animation in sections and then put it all together in a main or master composition. I'm going to just reposition my, my windows here. So what I want to do with this video is not to show you how to animate any of these elements. We've done that in a different video. What I want to do in this video is describe how to structure our After Effects project file in the best way. The next thing I need to import is the audio file. Again, import, import file that has that audio file. We'll keep import as as footage. I'm just going to select open. And we'll do our last file, which is the second artboard. Import file. I'm going to choose my second panel. Again, I want to make sure that I choose for layered files, composition, retain layer sizes, and say open. I'm going to open up this second composition as well by double-clicking it. And you can see that all the named layers from our Illustrator file are brought in here as well. We now have all the elements of our project imported into After Effects. We are going to be creating this project in a modular way. Each of these compositions is going to be animated separately and then combined or nested into a master composition at the end. But that means that each one of these compositions is going to have an audio file in it. Let me do that right now by dragging that audio file into this composition and dropping it on top there. You can see that that audio is now part of that composition. We're going to do that with the second panel as well. Bring the audio file there. Now, this is when we would create our layer markers for each word and then sync our layered graphics to the audio. But we've done that already in a previous exercise. I'm going to jump ahead here to the finished project, and then we'll see how the final project was assembled. 
Here's what that composition looks like after I've done some animation. You can see I have the layer markers here, and all my layers have been synced up with the audio. My work area has been reduced to just this first part of the dialog. This would be a good time for me to mention that these sub-compositions should all be long enough to contain your audio. You'll just be moving your work area in each composition to the section of the audio that you're going to be working on. This will make it a little bit easier to assemble the final composition. The second panel is the second part of the dialog. And as you can see, the same audio file is placed, but my work area is now over this area. And again, the layer markers have been placed and named, but this is where it gets interesting. I've created a new main composition by coming to the composition dropdown menu and selecting new and using the, the pixel ratios and the duration, and I've called it main. And in this new main composition from my project panel, I'm just going to drag my two compositions into my timeline panel. And you can see the layer indicator extends the entire length of my composition with the markers on them. Let's bring the second panel in like that. Here is a little bit of dialogue to practice your animation skills. Well, as you can see, we have a bit of an issue, but this is where I can do my final animation because this first part here needs to get off the screen before this part comes on. This is the power of nesting compositions in After Effects. By putting this composition here on one layer, I can now animate that composition as a whole. If I reveal the keyframes for this layer by pressing U, the keyboard shortcut to reveal all keyframes related to a layer, you can see that I have position, scale, and rotation properties animated when the timeline gets to this point here, the composition begins to scale up and rotate and shift its position. You'll notice that the anchor point has been repositioned to the point that I want to zoom into. That composition rotates in and the next words come in from behind it like so. But again, this is the power of nested compositions within After Effects. Now, the last thing I did to finish this up is I brought in a single audio file from my project panel and placed it in this composition. And I turned off the audio symbols for these two compositions. And the reason for that is I only want to have one audio playing at a time. Otherwise, it can start sounding a little weird. As you can see, in this way, we can create complex animations by breaking them down into their component parts and working on them as modules. If you're doing this exercise along with me, though, you'll notice that as you scrub the timeline, this first section, as it scales up, doesn't look as crisp as mine does. You'll notice that this, the edge of this arrow is nice and crisp, but yours probably looks like this with the fuzzy edge. And what I just did is turn off this button right here. This little star-like icon is called the Continuously Rasterize button. That's a rather awkwardly named icon that essentially allows you to keep your vector graphics nice and crisp, no matter what scale they are at, even if you increase the scale a lot, like we've done just now. So let me show you how to fix that. I'm going to come back to my first panel with layers, and you'll notice that all my Illustrator layers have got these little icons checked on. I want you to turn these continuously rasterize icons on for all your Illustrator layers. But again, this is a two-step process. When we come back to our main or master composition, we also have to turn on the continuously raster button for this particular composition, like so. Now we have that nice clean edge. This is something we only have to worry about when we're importing our artwork and text from Illustrator. If we're creating our own text right here in After Effects, using the layer dropdown and new text layer option, then we won't have to worry about doing that continuously rasterized option. 